could see that the Sumerians knew that that uh, that uh, Uranus was green. How did they know that? I mean, they had to have some kind of knowledge somehow to know that. Uh, there's another video on here about uh, about the planets. Uh, let's see here. The Mayans on the winter solstice, um, the winter equinox, I believe. This serpent forms right here and slithers down into the ground. Uh, basically, it only happens one day a year on December 21st, and uh, so that happens, which is pretty amazing in itself. We what also that goes down in the shadow, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, this is the serpent. Here's its head right here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. okay. See, what I personally believe is that serpents were they used back then. They didn't have cell phones and they didn't have things to describe what's going on in today's world. So basically, they uh, they had to use animals and things. So they called things serpents when they saw a comet. They called it a serpent because that's the only way they had to describe it. Uh, so also here they show. Uh, down here, the Mayans show mm -hmm. the serpent pouring out these gigantic buckets of water on the uh, puking water on the planet, um, and pouring out gigantic buckets of water, um, like the serpent causes the flood, which I want to get into, which is really amazing, is all the ancient flood myths. Okay, quickly, Satan mythology. You got uh, you got it loading. All right, Satan, devil horns. Okay, has a tail, cast out of heaven on earth. Now, when you see a comet, you see the side view of it. You see the, the head and the tail. Well, have you ever seen the comet coming straight on, or a planet coming straight on? It's going to have horn, like like remember the the, the video of the uh, wow. of the of the asteroid coming in I showed you. It had two horns coming off the side and a tail. So I suspect personally that that's where the mythology from Satan and, and devils and demons and all that comes from is from things hitting the planet and also dragon mythology. Um, here you've got dragons. They're fire breathing. They live in holes under the ground. Uh, they got horns. What is that? That's fire breathing. So all of a sudden the guys are there and all of a sudden they see this thing that's breathing fire grow across the sky. They hear a loud bang. They go out there. And what do they see? They see a big hole in the ground. So they think that the, the, the thing, whoop, they think that the things live in holes in the ground. Going home. Uh, so a lot of this stuff comes from, from ancient mythology that they just didn't know how to explain. Uh, what I was going to get into, which is really interesting, is the flood mythology. Okay. Um, throughout the, well, let's see here, in China, floodwaters that reached to the heavens. Okay, reached to the heavens. That means they were up into the sky, as far as you can see. Severe flooding along the river bank was caused by dragons. Okay, that's key right there. Um, another one. The earth rests on a giant snake. One day the snake got tired of the bird and shook the earth off into the sea. Um, let's see here. Australia. Uh, when, when the eel finally succeeded in flooding the earth, once again an eel, a snake-like creature, only the highest mountain peaks were visible, like islands in the sea. Uh, there are over 600 flood myths throughout the world. Um, in Polynesia, uh, they released uh, floods from the heavens. Uh, let's see here. Go down. Plato talks about the flood that occurred 10,000 years before his time. Um, let's see here. He also talks about many great deluges that, that have taken place in the, the 9,000 years. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, dilution. All other men perish except for the few who escape the high mountains. Okay. Uh, uh, Dardanus says the, uh, the land was flooded and the mountain on which excuse me, he and his family survived, formed the island, and, uh, let's see here, so that all other men were destroyed except those who fled to the high mountains. That's why the elites are fleeing to Denver. Uh, Germanic, there are two separate deluges, uh, basically the second one talks about, um, let's see, what was it, uh, the great world serpent that lies beneath the sea surrounding uh, so everything goes back to serpent, okay? They all go back to the serpent thing. Um, let's see here. The very high mountains were swallowed up in a flood, and the waters remain lying tranquil during the 50 and two springs. Um, the four monsters grew in size and power until they touched the sky. The waters rose and covered everything but the top of the reed and, and the heads of the monsters. So these are all the different flood mythologies. Uh, yeah, here's a battle between two mythical uh, mythical serpents provoked a great flood 
Uh, Did you write all this? No, no. This is all copied from uh, various uh, uh, archaeological websites and stuff. Go back. Could you go back up to that um, two, two to the Menominee? Right there. Okay. Those are Indians. Up, I think there's a town called Menominee, Michigan. Here's <laughs> Indian tribal hunter. Well, what I'll do is, like I said, y'all can have a, a copy of this, okay. and uh, y'all can go through it on your own. I'm down to what, what time is this here? Okay. I've got uh, 20 mm -hmm. minutes left, and yeah. I've still got a bunch of stuff to go over. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on here, believe me, it's going to take you a couple weeks to go through all this. Um, so you got all the flood myths. <laughs> now, I'm not going to get really into prophecy because of the fact that it's not fact, and I can't prove it. It's, it's prophecy. But what I can tell you is that, imagine this. Imagine if you knew of a 3,600 year cycle. Any one of you can be a prophet. Because you could say in 3,600 years from now, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And to the ancient, to the futuristic people, you look like a prophet. Because you predicted things that happened. But if you know of a cycle, like say, most people don't understand that Nostradamus had a vast library of books that, that are not available today. Okay, so maybe he knew of a cycle that was happening. Okay, and he was able to make these predictions based upon his knowledge of a cycle, a 3,600 year cycle. A lot of people don't know that George Washington has a, had a prophetic vision that's recorded in the Library of Congress um, about the oceans rising up and, uh, and, and uh, coming over America. Um, let's see here. Now, uh, Mother Shipton, well, this was interesting because this, nobody knows who wrote this, but regardless of who wrote it, it was published in 1641. Okay? It doesn't matter who wrote it, the fact is it was published in 1641. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let me get to the part I want. Uh, let's see here. For in those far off wonder, for in those wonder far off days, the women shall adopt a craze to dress like men in trousers wearing, cut off all their locks mm -hmm. or hair, and roaring monsters with men atop to seem to eat the virgin crop, and men shall fly as birds me down and give away the horse and plow. And love shall die and marriage cease, and nations wane and babes decrease, and wives shall fondle dogs and cats, and men will live much like dogs. Uh, cats and dogs and that's dogs. When pictures seem alive and movements free, when boats swim like fishes beneath the sea, when men like birds scour the sky, then half the world deep drenched in blood shall die. And as he blows his wondrous horn, now we go back to what the Egyptians said about how it would make a sound, how it would have make a, be a, like a start that nobody ever heard before, the, the, the trumpet of the battle cry of the destroyer. Old, war, uh, old worlds die and newly reborn. A fiery dragon will cross the sky six times before this earth will die. Um, for seven days and seven nights, man will watch with awesome sight. The tides will rise beyond their cans and by the way the shores of men. The mountains will begin to roar and earthquakes split the plain ashore. And flooding waters rushing in will flood the lands with such a din that mankind cowers in muddy pen and snarls about his fellow man. Um, and then the dragon's tail is gone. Man forgets and smiles and carries on. And then they will send a dragon back to light the sky as tail will crack upon the earth and ran the earth, and men shall flee, king, lord, and serve. Um, basically, it's it, it's a really interesting prophecy that was written 400 some odd years ago, and it seems like it's right on with today's world. I mean, mm -hmm. whoever this mother Shipton was, was was dead on with, with, with whatever she was saying. So She was a mother ship. Yeah. <laughs> mother Shipton, yeah, there you go. So, so uh, hey, I never even thought about it. No, I'm saying not every soul is ancient. Oh, sorry. Um, so basically, you have uh, something that was written 400 and some odd years ago that uh, basically describes what's going on here today. Now, um, what, what year are we in the cycle? I'm sorry? What year are we in the cycle? 3200. Uh, it's a 3600 year cycle, and uh, basically, if you go back to the. Uh, we have two years. Well, <laughs> I don't believe, I personally don't believe the 2012. Is, if, if you want me to conjecture out of this, uh, that's one thing I want to say is, is, is I don't have a time. I don't even think the elites have a time. Okay, I think they're just as scared as everyone else. I personally believe it's this year, at the end of this year. I'm sorry, I can't hear. Oh, I'm sorry. I personally believe that it's, it's going to happen at the end of this year. Why? Um, well, for one, on here is a video by John Moore. Okay, he was a he was a CIA intelligence. He's a whistleblower. He's come clean on this. After I found out all about this, I said, "Smart God, there's got to be some other guy, some other person out there that knows about this." So I started looking. I found this guy, John Moore. Well, anyway, he talks about the elites making sure they had their plans done by the end of 2009. They had to have all their plans done by December 2009. So I would suspect 
Well, go ahead, Seth. You know, are you 